What's up YouTube? I want to do a quick video here about oil lamps. This is kind of a companion to my instructable about this. I've learned a couple things and uh, actually using the Cobra Stitch again <laughs> for the millionth time on my channel. Um, how to make really simple wicks that are pretty effective. You can drop them into any kind of you know oil or probably you know lard and fat and stuff like that. Beeswax would probably all you know these wicks would probably work for any of those those materials. But uh, the one you see burning here is just uh, oil. I think it's some used cooking oil, some olive oil, all kinds of different things. It burns away nice and steady like a regular candle and it'll burn for a really long time. So I just wanted to show you guys a really simple way to make these wicks. Um, this one is just wrapped around a stone, which you might be able to see. Here's one I did around a little nut. This one is probably perfect because the nice flat bottom on the nut is good. And you only need a little bit of material to, to actually attach it to, to the nut itself because it's so small and the hole in the middle. So this one works really well. You just stand it up like that. And I'll light both of those ends. And it's kind of cool actually after a while. It'll burn, you know, with two as a double wick. And then after a while they'll kind of become one larger wick. And it burned pretty well. This The one you see burning here kind of small because it's just a single strand coming up and kind of twisted together didn't work quite as well that was just more of an experiment so this one seems to work perfect so how I did this is you just loop one piece of this um, hemp wick it's beeswax coated hemp wick if you're interested in the, the material and uh, picking it up I'll, I'll link it in the description so you can go check out you know the Beeline website it's called Beeline B-E-E-L-I-N-E -E very cool, yeah, it's just really nice organic hemp coated in nice organic beeswax. It's a really simple product. People use it for smoking and stuff. You know, you like this and you use it like a match so you're not inhaling the uh, byproducts of lighters and stuff like that, which is nice. So, yeah, there's, uh, there's that form. <clears throat> and then you just run a little loop of a uh, little run of Cobra Stitch there and use, it, use that to uh, tighten it down. And then the wax, kind of the waxy nature, makes it stand up straight, so it works out well. Here's what it looks like if you weren't, if it's not through the nut. This one's for a stone. So you have your cobra stitch running there with these, looks like a little dude. His arms are the working end of the cobra stitch, so just kind of putting a bead knot there. And all I'll do is I'll take this little pebble, and you know this would work with uh, marble like I did in my instructables or any other material, but you know as long as it's pretty heat proof. Right, so you just loop that through, and then you're just going to slide your, your knot down. Might be kind of tough for me to do. There we go. Tighten it up. It's a little bit tricky. Once you get it tightened in, it's really nice, and the wax just locks the whole thing in place really well. I'll try to get it even tighter. There it is. <clears throat> Excuse me. So there we go, guys. You got these two strands standing up. You can uh, trim these if you want. I will. I'll go ahead and do that. Really, that's all you gotta do. Um, I try to get more elaborate than this, and you might have seen it in my uh, Cobra Weave video. And I did like a Cobra Weave all the way up it. Um, it didn't seem to work quite as well as just this. This works really well. Um, that Granted, that was with the unwaxed hemp. That was just regular hemp cordage. So I could be wrong. But then you just gotta find where it's gonna stand up and make sure that these two tab ends are standing up. Another helpful thing if you're going to make these and use them is just get yourself a paper clip and bend it out like that. So now you can get in here and, you know, stand up the, the wick and stuff like that. I'm also going to use it to fish this out. I'll drop in one of these and light it for you so you can see how it works. i got this really cool little candle holder at the Goodwill. and I kind of feel like Ebenezer Scrooge run wandering around the manor with this thing at night. Sometimes I'll, uh take it to the kitchen to get a glass of water or whatever rather than turn on the lights just to uh, you know save energy and it's kind of fun so there you go took this guy out as you can see the same kind of thing just ripped around, ripped around a rock so I'll light the uh, light the nut one first and the rest of this hemp wick will burn away pretty fast once it gets lit and then uh, once it works its way down to the oil, it'll just start soaking up the oil. And uh, just, you know, use the oil as fuel. Take a second to get down there. Stuff burns pretty well just on its own. 
Maybe you can see that. I don't know. Now you can see it if I actually put it in frame. Helpful, isn't it, when you're making videos? <laughs> okay, so these guys will burn down a little bit. I'll probably knock some of that ash off because it'll uh, interrupt the flame a little bit as it gets down more. Again, the paper clip coming in handy. I'll also spread these out just a touch. So there you go. That'll burn away like that. Once it gets nice and stable and starts leaching the fuel up through the through the material, it'll burn like that for a long, long time. Um, I made one similar to this where I either braided the end or just, you know, used one strand as a wick down into some oil and put like a quarter cup of oil in it. Or no, what was it? Was it a quarter? No, it wasn't even a quarter cup. It was like two tablespoons. Um, the, the, uh, the specifics are in my instructable, but yeah, it burnt for like 10 or 12 hours straight. So it's pretty, pretty impressive. Very cool. Um, and you can use, you know, used cooking oil and stuff too. You know, if you, if you fry stuff in, in the house, just if you have like a, you know, a filter or something you can pour it through even better. But even if not, you can just strain off the stuff that looks the cleanest, put it in a jar and you can make these with it. Um, and in an emergency, if you, you know, the lights go out, um, you can, you can make these pretty quick. So there it is, guys. Hopefully you liked the video, and uh, thanks for watching. Cheers.